This segment of the news is brought to you by Smitty's Cards and Coins. Would you like to know what your collectibles are worth? Come by 2281 Postal Road, Unit 4, across from the post office. Two executives with a combined 50 plus years experience in the utility industry joined Valley Electric Association on June 1st. Raymond Abug of Glendale, California is the new Chief Operating Officer and Gary Zhang of Paducah, Kentucky is the Executive Chief Planning Officer. Abug comes to Pahrump after serving as Chief Assistant General Manager Electric Power Management and Compliance at Glendale Water and Power since 2003. Zhang most recently was the General Manager of Paducah Power System and and general manager of Kentucky Municipal Power Agency since 2015, but spent most of his career leading Lubbock, Texas, Power and Light. Here's Angela Miles with today's Business First Brief. Topping our news, the early jobs report number from ADP shows 253,000 jobs were added to payrolls last month. That is well above the 180,000 predicted. Investors eagerly tossed money into the stock market, sending the Dow, the S&P 500, and the NASDAQ to record closes. Forget Paris. President Trump is withdrawing the U.S. from the Paris Climate Agreement to honor his campaign promise. The president wants to negotiate a new deal that he says is fair to America's interest. The business community is reacting to the news. That includes Tesla's Elon Musk, who tweets leaving the Paris Agreement is not good for America or the world. Musk is leaving his positions on White House councils. Walmart is making a run at Amazon. The world's largest retailer is cutting costs by asking employees to deliver online orders on their way home from work. They will be paid. Walmart is already testing that program at three stores. Thanks, Angela. Sheriff Sharon Worley and Deputy Summer Daniker invite kids in Nye County to join in the great summer games. Well, let's see. They started under Wade Liskey's regime, and uh, Tony continued through uh, his tenure, and I've continued it through mine. How is it paid for? Well, it was paid for through a grant system. Mm -hmm. uh, and you have to understand that, that the granting uh, is only a portion. So the county does pay for part of it. And people can donate to it, right? Absolutely. So this is throughout all Nye County, right? Yes. And so we send an officer or a couple officers to to uh, facilitate? Well, we have one full-time person. Mm -hmm. uh, actually, she does take calls on the side when she's not doing other things. Uh -huh. uh, but she is in charge of the program. And uh, then she, she goes into each different community with uh, those people who are assigned there, our, our officers who are assigned there, and then they help her with that. And uh, it gives them a little bit more exposure uh, to their, their folks that, uh, that they're policing on a daily basis. Yes, the program's starting actually next week. Um, we're first starting it off in Tonopah. And I got a chance to participate in the program last year, and our sheriff keeps letting us do the program. It's great. Um, I'm looking forward to doing it this summer. We'll be hitting each community. Um, just each week of the summertime and I have a schedule that will go around for everybody too so they can sign up but it's a great program to where the kids can come um, it's kind of a community bonding with officers and the kids they get to meet the off deputies and um, see that you know we're good guys and we're there to help them and uh, we do fun activities with them keep them busy in the summertime teach them a little bit of you know good choices, bad choices, uh, when to say no, when to tell an adult something, um, that kind of stuff. Just the Great and the Dare program incorporated in with the fun summer games. What's the schedule? Um, like I said, we're going to start in Tonopah next uh, Monday, June 5th to the 8th. Um, it is a four-day week program. Starts at 8.30 in the morning and it goes till 2 p.m. in the afternoon. Free lunch is provided at each week for each location. Uh, after Tonopah, we're going to do GABS June 13th to June 16th. We'll be in Round Mountain, June 19th to June 22nd. Duckwater, June 26th to June 29th. Armagosa, July 10th to the 13th. Beatty, July 18th to the 21st. And then last, we'll finish off in Pahrump, July 24th to 27th. Um, there will be no games the week of July 4th because of the holiday. Mm -hmm. And kids can register, have their parents sign them up at Nye County Sheriff's office.com. That way we have all their important information in there and we know about how many kids to expect and that kind of thing. 
And here's a dog available right now for adoption at Desert Haven. Hi, I'm Darby here at Desert Haven Animal Society, and today we are joined with Rose. Rose is a two-year-old shepherd mix. She is mainly black and beige. She gets along with other dogs and cats. She prefers not to be around livestock, though, but she's a really, really sweet dog, and you should come down and see her down here at Desert Haven Animal Society. They have tons of cats and dogs available for adoption. They're on Siri Lane behind the Nye County Courthouse. You can give them a call at 775-751-7020. You can look them up at DesertHavenAnimalSociety.org or check them out on Facebook at Desert Haven Animal Society.